Each year, it is our pleasure to welcome back a former ITV student as our guest speaker. This year, when it came time to make our selection, we could only think of one person, but he was still a senior in high school. So, breaking with tradition, we'd like to welcome back a familiar face to the stage. Mr. Ian Pennypacker started in the ITV program as a second grader at Kathleen Elementary with Ms. Miller and Ms. Broden. He then continued his love of TV at Kathleen Middle with Mr. Hero and Ms. Yerix. He now takes TV production at Kathleen Senior with Mr. Murray. After graduation this year, Ian plans to attend Polk State College and then further his studies at the university level. Also, like many of our previous guest speakers, he has plans to start his own production company and eventually may return to the classroom to teach TV production. Please help us give a warm welcome to Mr. Ian Pennypacker. Thank you very much. Um, good evening, everyone. Quite honestly, I never could have imagined being on this stage and speaking to you all tonight. It seems like not that long ago, I was attending my first video awards at the end of my second grade year. That was almost 10 years ago. I was eight years old. Minecraft was pretty much my whole life, and maybe it still is, but anyways. I've always heard that time flies when you're having fun. And reflecting back on that, and my time in Polk County ITV, this statement is most certainly fact. During these fun times, I now recognize that video has such a unique way of pulling you in. It's part of everything we do. Video shows itself as a force that has the ability to pull together all sorts of amazing people for a common goal. I felt that same pull from Polk County's ITV and its educators all the way back in second grade, and it has yet to lose its grip. Not even COVID could stop the force of video. I don't remember much from my time in second grade, but I do remember my advisor telling me that when the red light is on, you don't stop talking. That red light and that very stern warning followed me into middle school where I spent most of my time learning as much about video as I could and competing for the coveted male solo position. While I may not have won in middle school, these losses were not in vain. Each time someone else's name was announced, Mr. Hero was there to support me and show me my strengths. Sorry. <laughs> I can now see how much character was actually built through those losses. And reflecting back on those losses, there's only one thing that comes to mind. A quote from my favorite director, Quentin Tarantino. He said, I don't think there's anything to be afraid of. Failure brings great rewards in a life of an artist. Granted, I didn't know what those rewards would be at the time. Now, my high school experience was an interesting start. After years of being excited to learn from Mr. Gash and join the Ignition TV program, Mr. Gash had to step away from Kathleen after my eighth grade year. So from August to December, I spent most of my time in my Digital Video One class, sorry, wondering what could have been in place of the collection of substitute teachers that were there instead. Then this new teacher came from about 15 hours away, and within weeks he moved me out of that class and into the class with the advanced students. That teacher and a fantastic group of seniors decided that I would be a great option for male solo as a freshman. Even though I didn't feel prepared for it, the team around me clearly knew what they were doing, and I could not be more thankful. So thank you, Dominique Almanzan. Thank you, Paul Jackson. Thank you, Matthew Ewell. Thank you, Mason Schwartz. And most of all, thank you, Mr. Murray. <sighs> While those awards may have my name on it, it was definitely a team effort each and every year. Through these years, I can see different areas that helped build who I am today. Where Mr. Hero taught me how to accept my losses and celebrate my strengths, Mr. Murray taught me to celebrate my successes and strive to outdo myself every year. Mr. Murray also allowed me to have creative freedom and explore the community around me while recognizing how important those members were. In my time as a Polk County ITV student, I've been all over the county for short films, news reports, commercials, music videos, you name it. I've acted in a silent film, a horror film, reported on local sculptures, eateries and festivals, and recorded and edited hours of footage, which reminds me, Thank you, Mom, for letting me stay out all those nights. <laughs> S 
Speaking of which, I would like all of us to take a moment to thank our parents because without them, we wouldn't be here tonight, so. <laughs> Speaking of which, I left my wallet at home, so mom, you might have to pay for dinner tonight. Going back to Tarantino again, he once said that he considers himself a student of cinema, like he's going for his professorship, professorship in film. And the day he dies is the day he graduates. It's a lifelong study. I can relate to this now more than ever because in a couple of weeks, I'll be walking across the stage at the RP Funding Center to receive my diploma and eventually go off to college. And while I recognize that this is only one step, a step means you're moving. Polk County ITV has kept me moving for the past 10 years. So enjoy this evening because you'll blink and 10 years it'll be over. I can only hope that the next 10 years will provide me with the same experiences and opportunities that the past have. I cannot be, be, sorry, I cannot be more appreciative of the Polk County ITV team, and thanks again for having me speak here tonight. I cannot wait to see what all these students have created, and congratulations on the work that brought you here. Good luck.